Hello and welcome to a new series. In this series we'll focus on uh, modeling inside 3D Studio Max. And uh, for this episode, the first one, I'm going to start with something pretty simple, which is a Lego man. This guy here, one second. This guy here. Uh, the reason is simple is because it's uh, uh, consisted of squares and circular cylinders and not very difficult forms. So let's start with this guy. <clears throat> Alright, first thing, I have a blueprint here. I will include this blueprint uh, in the comment section so you can download it and use it with this tutorial. Uh, I'm going to insert this blueprint into 3D Studio Max so we can build off it. So first thing I'm going to do is create a plane. Now I'm going to create a plane in the front viewport. And I'm going to go to perspective. Center it in the x-axis. And center it in the y-axis. But not in the Z because uh, the bottom is at zero and that's what I need. Now I'm going to uh, decrease the segments to one because I don't need the segments. And I'm going to apply the blueprint to this plane. So I'm going to click on the fuse here and add a bitmap of this blueprint. I'm going to drag it to the plane and show shaded material in the viewport. So now we can see the blueprint in the viewport but it's stretched out and it's uh, too thin so I need to make it uh, match this photo. The way I do this is I uh, add a UVW map modifier and I click on bitmap fit this will fit the aspect ratio, the uh, length and height uh, to the picture, so it will be accurate. So this one is accurate, now I'm going to click on it, on the UVW map modifier and move the gizmo, so I see only the front of our character, that's fine. I'm going to make the plane smaller, not the length, the width. so and move it again to the right like so all right now i'm going to take this plane and i'm going to shift rotate it 90 degrees let's make it shaded so we don't uh, see the shaders we don't need them yet now i'm going to move it with a snap toggle clicked and if you click on the right button on the snap toggle, there is a menu that uh, shows you what do you want to snap to. So vertices is fine. And I'm going to snap it, this point, to this point. Alright, so now it's 90 degrees and snapped. I'm going to unclick this. And I'm going to copy this material here. So this material, let's call it front. <clears throat> this one side. I'm going to change the. No, I'm not going to touch this. I'm going to change the UVW map coordinates. I'm going to move it so I see only the side. Like so. That's fine. And now, if you go to the front viewport, you can see. I'll click G to uh, disable the grid. You can only see the front. And in the left viewport, you can only see the left. So that's great. Okay, let's get started. First thing is the body. So you can see in the picture here that the body is a square with a feather a bottom part. And you have a chamfer edges here. Uh, all the way here and here and here. So I'm going to use the extended primitive chamfer box I'm going to create the chamfer box here take it here and 
chain for it like this. It doesn't matter what numbers you give here because we're going to change them. Now in order to see the back, to see the blueprint, I need to make this chamfer box transparent. To do this I'm going to click the right button, object properties, see through. And I'm going to click OK. So now the box is a see through box, see through box. And I can play with the sizes. I'm going to align it to the part here, which is fine. And I'm going to go to the left viewport and place it in place here. Make it higher, like so. The fillet, which is this, needs to be something around 0.8. The front viewport, that's fine. Now I need more segments because if you look at this box, if I object properties unclick see through, you can see that it's pretty rounded, but you can still see the bumps here. And that's not good because I, I'm trying to create a high poly model. For games this is fine because uh, game modeling needs low poly models which mean low poly count because uh, it needs to run in real time. But uh, for our rendering purposes uh, the amount of polygons is uh, not very important. Not in a form like this, a simple form. So I'm going to increase the fillet segments to 30, no that's way too much, 10, 15 maybe, 15 is fine I think. Now it's clear and rounded, which is great, I'm going to go to the front viewport and add an editable poly modifier on top of this. And let's make it transparent again, I'm going to take this button segments and move it here, this one move here one a little bit out and this one is a little bit no, it's fine all right now as you can see this goes a little bit more down in a straight line so I need to cut this form in the center somewhere here and take it down so what I'm going to do is click on slice plane and we have a slice plane here which goes in the center this is our slice plane. We need to slice the other direction, so I'm going to rotate the slice plane 90 degrees. I'm going to go to the front viewport and slice it somewhere at the bottom, something like this. Slice. Now I'm going to select all of the polygons down here and delete them. I'm going to take all the polygons down here and take them down a little bit. Move this here. This one bit here so it fits and I'm going to choose the bottom border because we just deleted the bottom segments we have a border we have an open form so I can choose the bottom border and shift drag it down to create this line so now if I disable the see-through I can see that we have our body form. This is the body of our little guy. Alright, now I have to cap this to close this form here. So I'm going to choose border and cap. So this closes the form down here. Alright, we have our body. Next thing I want to create is this torso. So I'm going to this one, this torso here. So I'm going to create a box for this, because it's a box, just a regular box, like so. And I'm going to go to the left viewport and place it in place. Something like so. As you can see in the picture final image, it's a little bit shorter on the sides, but it's the same same height, almost the same height. Twelve is maybe eleven point nine. Yeah. 
on the sides is a little shorter so this is great <coughs> now as you can see well you can't actually see it here but this form is cut inside to give room for the legs you can see it here the legs are rounded and this form is cut like so so the legs go inside it so we're going to deal with this after we create the leg because then we will know exactly what to cut from this form okay next thing I'm going to create the legs the legs uh, I'm going to start from the side from the left side because I want to create this round object and then continue with the legs down so I'm going to create a cylinder from the center here something like so I'm going to go to the front viewport I don't need the height segments so one is fine and I'm going to place it in place from here alright it's a little bit cut inside so that's fine just like this and I'm going to take it all the way here we're going to deal with uh, this uh, bended line uh, in a later time now I'm going to go to the left viewport as you can see we have this jaggedness again that's because we don't have enough side segments so I'm going to make 50 side segments now it's rounded what this did is add segments so more segments less uh, jumps I go back to the left and what I'm going to do now is convert to editable poly and I'm going to click on all the polygons down here it's selected all the polygons down here this one this one this one and the side polygons which we don't need right now I'm going to delete them and now if I go to the left viewport it ends where this rounded object ends too but as you can see this line here goes rounded until the center and then goes straight we have a closing line here so we need to delete a little bit more something like this so this line will continue in a straight line next what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this line and this line I'm going to go to the left viewport and shift drag down so this creates continues the lines down which is the continuation of our leg I'm going to select only this, go to the left viewport and continue on shift drag shift drag shift drag here and now I'm going to select these points and take them down here go to snap toggle and on the Y axis I'm going to snap it to this line so it's in the same level now I'm going to select these dots these vertices and I'm going to take them on the X axis so they meet now it looks closed but it's not we have two points here two vertices here and two vertices here that are in the same place in space so we need to create from these two one vertices essentially uh, we need to weld them so I'm going to select these points and weld now you can see this vertex is one vertex uh, with a 75 number I'm going to take these two vertices and weld them also all right so now we have our basic form of the leg I'm going to go to the left viewport and fix some things around I'm going to move this and this a little bit inside like so I'm going to take this a little bit down here and I'm going to take this here all right we have our leg in order to close this side and the other one I'm going to choose border and this border and this border and click cap this closes our borders up alright so now we have the body and one leg what I'm going to do is take this leg in the front viewport and I'm going to select these vertices here and I'm going to rotate them not with the angle snap toggle enabled because this will uh, move in clicks of five I need to make a more precise movement so I'm going to enable this and move it like so 
move it to the side a little bit so it goes in the right angle it needs to be close it doesn't need to be 100% but very close alright so this is fine this is fine and I'm going to take this point which is not in the same height as this one because we just moved the angle so I'm going to choose the snap toggle and on the Y axis I'm going to align it to this one same thing up here the last point align it to this one on one X alright now we have the leg finished in the front viewport as you can see this part of the leg goes a little bit inside as you can see in the final form you have a little bit uh, movement to the side so I'm going to simulate this I'm going to vertices I'm going to slice plane rotate the slicing plane with the angle snap tool enabled so it clicks 90 degrees exactly I'm going to move it to where it goes inside something like here I disable the snap toggle and I'm going to click slice now we have a slice in this line so now this is very simple just going to select this form here this polygon and I'm going to extrude it the front viewport so it matches the extrusion of our form so something like 0.3 fine all right now as you can see this is fine I'm going to go to the front viewport and shift drag this form to the other leg now it's uh, it needs to mirror because it needs to go to the other side this side is needs to be in on this side so I'm going to use mirror modifier on it where are you here you are mirror on the z-axis so now as you can see our form is mirrored and this is great and we need to it's not exactly aligned but that's fine it needs to be aligned here and here maybe we'll take this a little bit inside like this all right so now we have our body our legs and let's create this crotch here <laughs> so this crotch if you see on the picture here it's a rounded uh, shape just like the legs so I'm going to create it as such it's a rounded shape it goes in the center let's go to the left and create a cylinder same size as the leg about the same size uh, making a little bit various uh, and not making it exactly the same size as the the legs is not a bad thing because in real life machines never create this uh, uh, models exactly perfect so there are a little variations and if you create variation or imperfections in your rendering the result will be much better much more realistic not better alright so let's that's close enough I'm going to take this in the front viewport, something like here. And something like here, and make it higher, something like here. It doesn't need to touch, it needs to just about touch. So, like here. And that's fine. alright so now we have our form here that holds the legs together as you can see here this is the form I'm going to create these uh, points later on I don't know what this uh, lighting inside the, the foot is but we're not going to create it because a normal Lego uh, man uh, doesn't have this and next thing I'm going to create is the head alright the next thing is the head so for the head I'm going to create a chamfer cylinder so in the top viewport I'm going to create a cylinder like so and 
you can see it's chamfered out so we have a chamfer at the edges like here so I'm going to take this up again the, the dimensions here doesn't matter because they don't matter because we're going to change them anyway so now I'm going to change and place it in place I'm going to make it higher of course and I'm going to make it see-through so I can see what I'm doing now cap segments are the segments on the top of the form here so it's not really important it, it will be important when we create this form here and the, this the neck but for now it's not important what is important is the fillet segments the segments here on the side so now I see I need to make it bigger the fillet needs to be bigger I need much much more segments here so I need to the side segments make something like a 80 so it's high poly maybe even 100 uh, the fillet segments I'm going to make uh, 15 like this form here maybe even more 25 35 and next thing I'm going to do is we have the fillet segment side segments height segments are not really important here because we have a straight line here so we don't need the height segments and the last thing I'm going to disable the see-through and I'm going to convert this no I'm going to add the editable poly modifier to it now I want to select this top part here the polygons in the top choose select object and choose the polygons here in the top deselect the polygons that were selected at the bottom because it's selected from the top viewport so these ones were selected too so alt deselect and the front viewport I'm going to extrude upwards to create this form here it is too small so what I need to do now is grow the selection so it selects these uh, height segments also and I'm going to make it bigger only on the Y X axis like so the front viewport a little bit more front a little bit more alright that's fine next thing I'm going to do is take them up a little bit and let's make it see-through again now I'm going to chamfer these side edges loop to select all the segments here on the edges and to chamfer them so they will be rounded like here chamfer too big 0.1 let's go to the front viewport 0.4 chamfer 0.4 and let's give it 5 segments 7 segments is fine and I think the roundness is too round 0.25 is good okay now I'm going to object properties unclick the see-through and as you can see we have the form of the head uh, now the head has a hole here because it's Legos so it needs to you can place a wig on top of it or something like that so we have a hole here I don't see it because in the blueprints because I don't have the top viewport so I'm going to use this section here I see that uh, the hole starts here so I'm going to choose this vertice and I'm going to extrude it now I'm going to chamfer it so that we get this rounded form here I'm going to chamfer it something like this and I'm going to choose this polygon and I'm going to extrude it inwards o min minus 0.5 doesn't matter how much I click here because I can just move it very easily so I'm going to assume that it goes 
until here so I'm going to move it down until the head just about and I'm going to go to the left viewport and see where it starts I think the thickness, thickness is fine I'm not going to uh, measure it with a measuring tape so it needs to look good because we're sculpting here alright this is great we have uh, we have lines, jagged lines here to uh, smooth it out what I'm going to do is add not a turbo smooth but a smooth modifier to it and click auto smooth this does is auto smooths uh, these jagged areas that were here before so now we have the head without the neck in order to create the neck this is very simple I'm going to go back to edit poly I'm going to select this vertice here and I'm going to control click on polygon what this does is selects all the polygons that touch the vertice that was selected before so if I select this vertice and I hold control and click on polygon this selects all the polygons that touch this vertice and now I'm going to delete them I'm going to choose the border which was created now and shift drag down to create the neck so in the front viewport I'm going to drag the neck until the body something like so this is very very thin what we need to do is again hold control and click on polygon this will select all the polygons that touch the border that was just selected and now I'm going to make it bigger on the top viewport in the Y X axis only so I'm going to make it bigger check in the front viewport a little bit bigger something like this oops front viewport just a little bit bigger this is fine maybe a little bit fine so now we have the head the body and the neck let's just select all this form deselect the uh, uh, blueprint and let's give it a material so it looks the same color everything the same color uh, maybe a little bit gray whitish something like that a uh, temp color, temp material so we just can see it in one material here and let's give the lines of this form black color so now if I look at the form I can see that this little guy is almost done we have the hands and uh, little things like cutting here so that the legs can uh, can bend so let us do this first I need to cut in the left viewport in this form of a box this line here so that the legs could uh, go inside because now they are intersect each other what I'm going to do is create a line here arc from it needs to be a little bit bigger than the legs themselves it, because they don't need to touch because if they touch there there is friction and the legs can't open properly so if you see a real doll you can see that uh, you can't see because his hand is uh, in the way but the cut in this form is a little bit bigger than the leg itself for uh, in order for it to have room for maneuver so I'm going to create a arc from this point to this point and take it up like so this will be our cutting circle now I'm going to add lines with a snap toggle I'm going to snap it to this point and it does, it's not really important but I'm going to click shift so the line will go in a straight line here you will see in a minute why I'm doing this and if I hold shift and move it to this point uh, when the snap toggle is uh, enabled you can take this line to be exactly in the same place as this one so I'm going to take it here and last thing I'm going to click it here why am I doing this because I want to uh, uh, give a boolean to this form I need to cut this form from this one in order to give place for the legs so 
I'm going to create a form to cut. So I'm going to take this this line, go to modifier, attach this arc, and now I'm going to weld the vertices here. We have two vertices here: one the end of this form, and one the end of this form. Uh, we create, we uh, attach them together, but we didn't attach the points themselves. And this will be a problem later on. So what I need to do is choose the two vertices and click Weld. Now they are one point. And the same thing here, Weld. One point also. Alright, now I'm going to add a shell modifier to it. What the shell does is gives thickness. And we need to cut, I'm going to unsnap toggle. We need to cut from this form, so we need thickness to cut with. We need this form to be higher than the torso itself. So I'm going to place it here and make it a little bit bigger than the torso itself. Because all the torso needs to be cut. I'm going to choose this form we created to cut from this form. And I'm going to choose it too. And I'm going to isolate them. And the next thing is simple. I'm going to choose our box, torso. And I'm going to add a compound object, Pro Boolean, to it. And now I start picking and pick what I want to cut from this form. Once I click this, I have one form with a cut in this form. Now if I unhide everything, you can see that the legs, uh, there is a cut and the place for the legs in this form. Great, we have our torso, let's name everything. This is the left leg. No, if you stand to this side, so this is the right leg. This is the left leg. This is the crotch. I don't really know how to write this, but uh, watch. let's say this it's like this. The torso, this is the body. And we have our head. 